Good morning, afternoon, or evening. It's time to pick one of your favorite bottles of lubricant and or baby oil and slip into this news. In about four days and a couple of hours, Marcellus Williams, a 55-year-old death row inmate, is scheduled to be killed. And here are a couple of reasons why I believe they're about to kill an innocent man. Marcellus and other people that believe him to be innocent have been fighting for his innocence since 1998 when he was arrested and charged with first-degree murder and burglary. Felicia Gail Pikus was the woman that Marcellus is accused of murdering. She was found stabbed over 10 times in her home. Marcellus had a promising hearing a month ago where the prosecution admitted that there wasn't much information in the case and the evidence was mishandled by the police assigned to the case at the time. It's important to note that new DNA evidence came out that shows that Marcellus was not holding the knife, wasn't nowhere in the house. They also found bloody footprints that did not belong to Marcellus at all. Now, despite the admission of the prosecution, Judge Bruce Hilton denied the request to vacate the conviction. He says he doesn't believe he can overthrow such a conviction, but if a man is innocent and is scheduled to be killed in four days, I believe you can overthrow that conviction. There's just a couple things I find interesting about this case. Go down this rabbit hole with me. Felicia Gail Pikus was a love member of her community. She was a post-dispatch crime reporter, an advocate, and mentor for the disabled and a volunteer. She was also married to her husband, Dr. Daniel Pikus, for 18 years before her life was tragically taken away from her. I think it's important to note that one month prior to Felicia's death, Deborah McCain, a woman that lived three miles away from her, was murdered in the same fashion. Much like Daniel Pikus, Deborah's husband found her as well, called the police, and the police ruled that both husbands weren't responsible. However, Deborah's mom says that she believes that Deborah's husband was abusing her. Now, in this article that was written at the time of the murder, the police say that there wasn't much evidence of a break in and that the assailant most likely walked right through the front door. It also states that the police at the time couldn't link the burglary to the murder but how else would you be able to explain a woman being stabbed 43 times in her own house using her own kitchen knife the community was growing frustrated and put a lot of pressure on the police to find the assailant that committed this crime so investigators put up a ten thousand dollar reward for whoever could help them solve the murder ten thousand dollars is a lot now so i know it was a lot back then marcellus's girlfriend at the time turned him in it's important to note that marcellus was already in jail for robbing a burger king a month after leisha's death he had a long list of retail robberies on his rap sheet. He didn't have anything for sadistic murder though. There is no DNA evidence that links Marcellus to the crime and the only witnesses the police had at the time were both incentivized. Now Marcellus was used to robbing retail stores but the police said that he was a violent criminal and a crackhead that took a bus to a random side of town, found a house, broke into the house, killed the owner only to find money for crack or items that he could sell for crack. Now, even if that was true it just seems a little fishy because Marcellus's weapon of choice had always been a gun up until that point. Why didn't he bring a gun if he knew he was going to rob a house? Crime experts have always said that choosing to stab somebody specifically is passionate and personal. I think it's important to note that I believe in the death penalty, but only if the person that's being convicted of a crime actually committed the crime. If Marcellus is a sadistic murderer like they say he is, they should have no problem reopening the case and sweeping by the evidence one more time. I think it's also important to note that the woman that Daniel Pikus married after Leisha was murdered says that they're both ready to just move past this and has been an avid pusher in Marcellus receiving the death penalty in four days. Now, this is just my thoughts and opinion, but I believe that if they pause the execution and reopen the case to further investigate, we'll all, including Daniel's new wife, find out a little bit more about Daniel. Well, if you're like me and you believe that something's fishy about all of this and something just ain't sitting right in your spirit, text Marcellus to 97016 and they're going to send you a link to fill out a petition because that's all we can do at this point. We're asking Governor Parsons to please step in and do something because with knowing that Missouri has a reputation of disproportionately executing black men, I know for a fact they don't want the blood of an innocent black man on their hands, right?